Uh, kind of sketchy. Good morning, glorious Mississippi. M I S S I S S I P P I River. Barge things spilling away. Damn birds. More birds. Mountains. Fog. Gloomy. Looks nice. Pretty excited to be here. One thing I'm not excited about though, boys and girls, is hopping into one of them Porter Johns that's wiggling side to side about three or four feet and uh, yeah, take my morning poo. But for now we'll finish this intro and uh, talk to you <laughs> and stuff. What is going on you dirty old stash stains? It is me and I am on quite possibly one of the sketchier things I've ever been on. We're on a uh, floating dock on the Mississippi River. We got brought out here by a boat this morning at 7 a.m. We get a fish from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and it's 9 a.m. And I already caught about 25 to 30 bass. We're gonna switch it up. My fish with night crawlers, just gonna fish kind of the deeper water. We've been fishing the shallows, catching stuff, and it's been fun, but I think I done caught every every bass fish in this little section. And I had a damn good time doing it. But uh, yeah, Clint, my buddy, who's out there, he's fishing kind of the harder stuff to fish, the deeper water, throwing a swim bait, going a little bit slower and broke off. He says 27, 28. 29 inch walleye so eventually we're going to be doing that going to be walking up there fishing right next to the current and yeah i don't know i don't know what this video is going to bring but we're staying on the barge for another one two three eight hours we might leave a little early but yeah come along with me i'm prairie dogging let's uh see how terrible this bathroom is let's see if there's toilet paper and stuff if there's not toilet paper i do have four kleenexes that are designated for my nose but if they have to be used on my rump, then I guess they will. Hopefully this thing doesn't tip over or float off to sea. That is disgusting. Wish me luck, folks. Wish me luck. Whew. Warm, stinky, wiggly. But we accomplished our goal of taking our morning poo. Now we need to tie some things on and uh, yeah, go from there. Hopefully catch something. All right, well, I'm just gonna take one rod up to the current and kind of fish over the wall. Maybe. Maybe. Holy shit. Try the middle. <clears throat> I don't know how strong this tree is. Not really strong. If we're sitting down already, we have less of a distance to fall. Hmm. I think we made it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back as gracefully, but we made it. We made it. I'm gonna fish these rocks leading up to the falls. And actually, no, screw that. There's a path up here. We'll go up to the water and then work our way back. Sound good? Sounds good. And stuff. Got one. First cast. Smelly. I'm a bass fisherman now, Clint. What is this up here? White bass or a drum bud? It's a fish sitting on shore. Are you alive, my friend? Some big ass crawfish. He doesn't look alive, but we will send him out there to maybe get ate by something, but man, people just be throwing the drum buds everywhere. Jerks. That's the species we're after. Caught a minnow. Look at those damn Mississippi River crawdads though, boys and girls. Them is some meaty suckers. Can't go out of the wall 
Christ. I'm in breakfast. Looks like he threw it back. It must have been over 20 inches. You can keep six walleyes per person, which we aren't having that issue currently. But there's a slot from 20 to 27 that you have to release. And you can only have one over 27. And we were really hoping to get a few to eat. It hasn't happened. I caught some largemouth I could have ate, but I didn't want to do that. Not because they're bad, they're just not quite as prestigious of tra table fare. So yeah, Clint figured out how to catch one walleye. Over here I caught a singular small mouth, so I might have to, uh... Eh? Never mind, we're staying for a little bit, boys and girls. We're staying for a little bit. Seems decent, whatever it is. I think it's a largey. Can't really get away from the bass fish, no matter what we do, but that's all right. We're getting bit in the M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 Hopefully I brought my pliers over here because I've about got a treble hook in my hand. All right, but about five times today already, so. My pliers are somewhere back on the dock. Oops. Later, little smelly. Later. Mm. Burgers are good. Them burgers are good. Clint's got another something. He's figuring out how to catch him. It looks like another damn walleye. Even though it was hard as shit to get out here. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty sketchy though. I oh, got another one. I stepped on the damn stairs and they felt like they were gonna crumble under my exceedingly impressive dad bod. This is a bass. It's definitely a better bass, or it's at least a more pissed off bass. Yeah, we'll take that. Look at that colored up male smelly. It's definitely the biggest smelly so far. But even with that being said, <clears throat> we're gonna just make a few more casts and go see what old Clint's doing to catch the walleye, see if we can copy him. I don't know if I've said this in videos before, but Clint's a damn good fisherman and I've learned a lot from him over the years. So maybe we can go over there and learn something on how to catch some dinner. Some dinner. But for now we'll do this. Oh god, another one. Another decent one too. Didn't quite fight nearly as hard, but... Oop. <clears throat> a colored up male. <clears throat> Pretty dude. Pretty dude. Is that another one? That is another one. Shitload of them in the slack water. Clint looks excited. Thought he was grabbing the stringer, but he's grabbing a tackle box. Must have broke off. Must have broke it off. You guys see those damn minnows out there just getting absolutely blastered. There's like groups of like thousands of them that are just erupting. You guys see that shit? I done caught two of them on one cast. 
Oh no, that's just a bigger one. Billions. Billions of minnows. Holy shit, whatever that is, slammed it. Slammed it. Absolutely slammed it. I mean, realistically, it's another smallie, but it seems better. A lot of largies back towards the dock this morning. A couple smallies mixed in, but out here, it's all smalls. All smalls. <clears throat> Pretty sick. Not like that sick, but like pretty sick. And stuff. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Found the honey hole spot again, took a few casts. Very mean, whatever it is. I mean, we pretty much got a pretty good judge at this point as to what it is not even big just mean just real mean sick 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 oh my god Whatever that was, absolutely destroyed it. That couldn't have been a bass. Unless it was a sheep's headed bass. There we go. There we go. Largy. Little stubby largy. Hooked a couple on the dock, but first largey over here. First largey over here. I really do feel like we're throwing the best lure to uh, just get bit, you know? Clint's over there doing the hard work on the whale eyes, but I just walked out on this dang, dang barge wanting to get bent, get my line tightened. And yeah, I think we figured out probably the most efficient way to get that accomplished the old blade the old blade not gonna do this all day but i really do feel like i could stand here just about all day and new ones would move up on the rocks to chase these minnows maybe even different species we'll do it for a little bit longer and then move on to something a little more challenging but it's pretty fun i'm more about fun than being picky about what i'm catching holy shit balls so we'll just keep catching for now and stuff. Oh, Jeebus. Jeebus. That largey beat the tar out of it. Look how yellow that thing is. That's crazy. I know, not the best landing technique or fish care technique going on in this video. And I really, really, really wish I had my pliers for this guy, but we should be able to figure it out. Got it out. He just needs to open his mouth a little bit. Got it. Look how yellow and gold that dude is. I mean, his body not so much, but his mouth is just crazy. I'm a bass fishing channel now, kids. Bass fishing channel. Just kidding, I'm not good enough at it, but catching him out of the Mississippi sure is fun and easy. Fun and easy. Hand stuff.
Oh no. Oh no. That's it. I'm gonna work down a little bit, see if I can get one more, and then we're gonna try to learn how to catch our first Mississippi River walleye from the master, Clinton. Got one. Got one, and it's gonna be the last one. Largy. Largy. Even though he's not large. He is a large G. All right, back you go, little bud. Blade bait put in work, definitely one of the better ways to get bit at spillways. Sometimes they don't work, but a lot of times they do. You at least run into fish and kind of learn what's, uh, what's there while I don't promote snagging. I mean, it does happen, and it does happen a lot on blade baits, but fish eat the crap out of blade baits. But stay tuned. I'm splitting these up. I'm not doing like a tour or nothing. It's just we'll just be back at the Mississippi River randomly, periodically throughout videos. But if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Wish me luck. Hopefully we can catch walleyes. It's definitely. But.